there's no one in here. It's, it's all right. What is it? Marty, what is it? Do you want me to shut the doors? All right, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go away for a second and do that, okay? I'm gonna go right there. you came here. I'm glad you came to me for help. Don't you feel sorry? Do you want to tell me what happened? No. You don't have to tell me anything, Marty. to me for help and I will help you. it is to talk about what happened but but you have to do this you have got to come with me to the hospital no. now marty, i'm not marty, going anywhere please. marty marty please please you've got to try to try try hard to trust me now you have got to go to the hospital you're in pain and you are hurt no it's not that bad i'm not gonna go marty okay Oh, Reverend Carpenter, uh, Sheila is expecting you. I'll go and get her if you like. Thank you. What? Andrew, hi. Marty, listen to me very carefully. You are safe here. No one is going to hurt you or make you do anything you do not want to do. I mean, everything is okay now. Do you understand? I would like you to come with me to the examining room. Andrew, No. Uh, Don't leave me. You said you wouldn't leave I, I, me. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. Marty. Marty. 
Harry, I'm I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit right over there, okay? Is that? And if you, Marty, if you need me, all you have to do is ask Sheila. She'll come. Can I can I can I move a chair right next to the door? I'll be right next to the door. Oh, Andrew, you'll be blocking traffic, Sheila. so. It's not exactly by the book, but I, I think we can get around it. Uh, would that be all right with you, Marty? It's all right. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay. Look. There. I'm right here. I'm, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. Marty, can I explain to you what's going to happen? You see, I want you to know so there aren't any surprises. And at any time you want me to stop what I'm doing or anyone else, you just tell me. Who else? Why don't you come with me to the examining room and I'll explain. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. I'm right here. It's all right. Come on. trained rape counselor and I will stick by your side for as long as you are here at the hospital if that's what you want and if you get tired of me you just tell me to take off and just say the word and no, I'm no. gone I won't it's gonna be okay now anything you and I say to each other is strictly confidential I mean, I will not talk to anyone about what happens here or whatever you tell me, unless you want me to. You understand? I got your message when I got back from the gym. What happened? Uh, Why did you need to have extra gym clothes? Andrew, what happened? I'm, 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 Andrew, whatever it is, it's, it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. Exactly what I've been telling Marty. Um... Marty? Andrew, she didn't overdose again, did she? No. Then why did she need to have extra gym clothes? Marty was raped. <laughs> I would like to call in a doctor to see you. Marty, she is a woman doctor, and she's handled a lot of cases like yours. Her name is Dr. Shelton, and she is first going to make sure that you are not hurt in any way. Physically, I mean. And in case you decide that you want to file charges with the police, she is going to take some specimens from you. Specimens? Various swabs to check for... No, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to see, see a doctor. I don't want to talk to any cops. I don't want any strangers poking at me. Marty, I'm not going to lie to you. It is no fun, this exam. But neither is what you have already been through. But this time, we are on your side. Now, it is important for your health for you to be thoroughly checked out. And it's important if you want to bring charges. Um, I also need to ask you if you wouldn't mind me calling the police just in case. Now, as far as the exam is concerned, I'll be with you the whole time. And I will not let anyone hurt you again. Is it all right if I call the doctor now? Okay. Let's just do it.
keep all of your clothes so they can be gone over for any hair or fluids that might be used as evidence. Sheila and I want to be sure to maintain continuity of evidence. It's called the chain of evidence in case you do decide to press charges. Sheila and I can swear that we've seen all these garments come off you, and that keeps the chain of evidence intact. You need to take off your jewelry, too. I hit him with my ring, I think. so you're probably going to feel some pain and discomfort. Hand me the swaps. Now, after we are done with your fingernails, we're going to check your body carefully. Now, what we're looking for are foreign hairs, ones that might belong to your attacker.